So in Oxford we have a lot of very promising science going on and what we aim to do within the cognitive health theme is to tie that into better treatments for patients. And the, the critical thing that the Oxford AHSC will allow us to do is to integrate the science with the clinical service provision so that they can be coordinated. This will help us translate the basic science advance into benefits for patients much more quickly. The other thing that's really important is the interaction with industry, the pharmaceutical industry, for creating new models of how we help develop new drugs. It's a very challenging area for the pharmaceutical industry. And tying in with some of the other themes, particularly the, the, the uh, one led by Chas Boundra, for example, and the digital um, health uh, uh, and, and big data theme, we'll be looking at ways for getting patients, uh, getting them access to clinical trials for looking at new forms of treatment much quicker, which will allow us to help develop some of those compounds and this has been a really challenging thing for us to do. I think the leadership that's provided by the Oxford AHSE, because it brings together the key partners from both the university and the health service, allows us to integrate care for people with dementia and cognitive impairment. We'll be able to create better efficiencies for the patients. So I think the experience of care will be better for patients, as well as actually creating new knowledge through the research, which will help us develop advances for prevention of dementia and treatment of dementia. One of the things we are already doing is implementing a new system that allows us to use the routine clinical information systems for creating more intelligent services because we know more about the throughput of patients through care, then we will also be able to provide greater efficiencies at the same time by asking patients to participate in research routinely at an early point of contact with the service, we can very much increase the number of patients participating in research studies. And that's a real advantage both for them and obviously for future patients who can benefit from the results of that research. There's, at the moment, a lot of patients who are referred for dementia will be seen in what are called memory clinics in secondary care. But, but a lot of that work could probably be done in primary care the really important thing is there's integration between the primary and secondary care diagnosis and follow-up so that patients are seen in secondary care when they need to be seen in secondary care and they're followed up by their family doctor when that's possible as well in primary care. Clinical informatics really underpins a lot of what we're trying to do in the Oxford AHSC and I think dementia is a really good exemplar for that because this is a, a clinical area where there are a number of clinical information systems and of course the, the social care information systems. But what we've got as funded by the NIHR is the DCRIS system, so that's the Clinical Research Interactive System, which is a, a, a form of system which can in, interrogate across multiple databases and so brings those databases together to allow us to extract information from a number of uh, sources so that we can begin to look at the paths of patients through the different systems. And we could probably use what we learn from implementation of that in the area of dementia, and that's the first clinical area that it's being used, to help inform developments in other areas of chronic disease within the NHS, within Oxford. So we'll be harnessing some of the BRCs, the Biomedical Research Centre's investment in clinical informatics, combining that with DCRIS to generate benefits both for patients with dementia and in the longer term for patients with chronic diseases in general. We think that in 10 years time we'll have much better early detection of age-related dementia and dementia in general, so we'll be able to get better earlier diagnosis. We'll be able to diagnose more clearly between different forms of dementia and this will have an impact on the care that patients are going to be getting because obviously different kinds of dementia will need different kinds of intervention and care. So as the earlier diagnosis, better sub-diagnose of people with dementia and increasingly there'll be new access to new treatments, drug treatments and also psychological treatments and non-drug treatments. Mm -hmm.